Welcome back, everybody. Box three. This Everfest case. Let's see what we can get. I uh, hope everyone's doing well. A couple of things to talk about today are um, two more skirmishes this weekend. I'll talk about my Kasai deck soon. Get some cool. I have some like some opinions on what I've changed in it. Um, first of all, uh, in about 12 hours, the auction will end. So, uh, why am I sleeping that? It's fine. I've got a playmat auction happening uh, over at Deckbox Auction, uh, Deckbox Flesh and Blood Auctions. Check that out on Facebook. There's a Tunic playmat. There's a uh, Gorganian Tome. There's a OG Crucible playmat. There's... What else have I got there? Anyway, there's some cool playmats. Uh, Caution. Uh, two OG Bravos, a Glint, a, um, I think that's it. Anyway, there's 13 playmats. Uh, auction, zero reserve. It's open worldwide, feel free to join. Uh, second, I want to talk about the bands and erratas coming up. My personal opinion. I don't, so the Bands and Erratas is April 5th, I believe. It's very, it's very soon. It's coming up. I believe we're going to see an Errata to Stavo's ability. I believe it's going to either force the use of uh, three cards. I think that's like the softest way to keep that hero viable, but also make it so it bricks or doesn't perform more often. Um, I don't actually think we'll get erratas and bands or any on anything else before like before the next season starts. Um, people are talking about prism, people are talking about all this other stuff, people are saying ah, if you ban this you should ban that. Uh, look, I don't think they're gonna leave Starvo to retire himself because it's still a card in a box. Ooh. Old foil vexing. So Star Wars is still a chase card in a product, in the latest product. Like banning or letting it retire so early, it does a disservice to a lot of people that bought the product. Oh, look at that. Two foil majestics in a row. One cold foil, one foil. That's very cool. Some good value in this box. That's my opinion. That's what I'd like to see. Just make Starvo a bit less uh, dependable. Um... Maybe also you'll see Oak and Old become a Oldham specialization. But I did look at uh, Tales of Aria, the set, and um, every hero had like a, a non-specialization card that still had the hero art in it, if you know what I mean. So yes, people talk about Oldham, but Briar and Lexi did also have cards uh, that had their image in it, but weren't specializations in that set. Maybe an oversight, maybe they were going to make it through specializations and they left the cards open, but Oakenold's very strong. If Stava didn't have Oakenold and didn't have um, the ability to fuse or the ability to reveal so often, it would be a very different deck. Still very strong, though. Still very strong. I don't think it would stop it from winning, that's for sure. Either way, that's my predictions and see how accurate I am. I, I predict that they will make it a three card reveal minimum. Mi minimum, a three card reveal required. Kasai, Kasai has been super fun. I've swapped out, so I had two E-Strikes in my list. Ooh, another four Majestic. Uh, I had two E-Strikes in my list. I've swapped them out for one High Striker Red and one Nourishing Emptiness. Nourishing, like if you're a player, if you're new, I'm probably glossing over some detail here, but um, the Nourishing's a no-brainer when you have one of them. And the High Striker is really good with uh, a Nourishing turn. It's really good with a turn where you got like two Out for Bloods in your hand or two Iron Song responses in your hand. It's very, very strong turn one if you have those pumps. Uh, I think I haven't like managed to pull it off, but I think when I do pull it off, it's going to be a guaranteed win, right? If you get six coppers from the very start of the game, you can pretty much block with three cards uh, till you get your hands on a blood on the hands, and then you 
tempo swing. Block with armor the turn before. Do a blood and a hands turn with six coppers and, and hopefully four or five cards, and then the game's over. You know, you'll have tempo. That's what I think. I don't think it'll work very well against every deck, but I, I like the idea of it. Uh, what do you think? I didn't like how E Strike felt in that deck, so. Um, Alright, that's the box. I mean, Raging Metamorph and round, this round's a me foil. So three foil majestics, technically. Seven. Eight, nine, ten majestics, this box. I like it. All right, guys. Talk soon. Thank you for watching Flukenbox. Please subscribe for more content.